So what we're going to do is we're going to head over here to the elliptical mark K tool and make sure it's the rounded one, not the rectangular one. And we're going to zoom in on the character's eye right here and put your crosshair about in the middle of his people and click and drag and then hold the alt key. And as you can see, you can make a circle that kind of matches the eye. And it's okay if it's not perfect. And then when you let go, you can see that we made a selection around his eye. I made it so that it kind of followed at least one of the edges of his eye. And if you want to get in the rest of the pupil, or sorry, that's the pupil. If you want to get the rest of the iris, no, maybe, yeah, that's it, the iris. Then go ahead and go to Select, Transform Selection. And you can click and drag this that way. But as you can see, we're missing a little bit of the corner of his eye right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit control and click and drag this corner out a little bit. And then click and drag this corner in a little bit. And that should match up just fine right there. And we're going to check mark it. And if you think that looks good, go ahead and fill it in with white. And if you've already forgotten how to do that, that's Shift Backspace. And we'll go ahead and deselect with Control D. So hit Control Zero. We got a nice little white dot around his eye. And now we're going to do the same thing to the left eye. Let's have that layer selected. Let's zoom on in. Click and drag and hold the Alt key. Let's match it up right around there. Go to Select transform selection drag a little this way try and get this to match up pretty well and I believe that looks pretty good oh, there we go and that should be fine right there so we'll fill that up and hit control D to deselect control zero to zoom back out and this is where we're at right now. We've got his uh, skin nice and pale. We've got his eyes whited out. And you'll see why in just a second. So now that we've got our eyes whited out, we need to actually give them the gold color that we were looking for. And to do that, we're going to go to the right eye. We're going to go to Effects, Gradient Overlay. And we'll put this right around there. And let's see, we want to change the style to radial. And then that should give uh, a simulation of a pupil right there. And we're going to change the gradient up a little bit. So I want you to move the black up a little bit to so maybe about 25, 30% ish. And that'll just size up the pupil. And then change this white color to a brown instead of a white. So. Let's type in for red 120, for green we'll do 60, and for blue we'll do 15. And that will be a nice dark brown color. So that should give you a number of 783C0F. So you can just type all that in if you really need to. Or you can just play around with the color yourself. And we'll hit OK. And if you click next to this right here around 64 68 ish you'll get a new uh, get a new color and we're going to change that to more of a gold so I'll make the red 255 and the green let's say 225 and that looks pretty decent to me I mean it looks a little unrealistic but we'll fix that hit OK hit OK and before we hit OK again, we're going to change the blend mode to overlay. But as you can see, that made that white. But we'll fix that too. So we'll close that up. And with the right eye selected, change that to overlay as well. Boom. Now that actually made his eye look nice and gold right there. So we're going to go to Move Tool, we'll zoom in some. I just hit Control 1 there to zoom up to 100%. And that looks pretty decent right there. I mean, you see a little bit of overlapping, but that will easily be fixable with a mask. 
But first things first, let's go ahead and make that eye gold as well. And that's really easy. Just right click the effects icon on the right eye, go to copy layer style, and go to the left eye, right click it, and go to paste layer style. Boom. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom up to the canvas by hitting control zero. And that's looking pretty decent right there. I have to admit, those are some scary looking vampire eyes. And if we zoom back in, remember we have that little bit of overlap that we got going on here because our circle wasn't matched up to the eye. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and close up the left eye's effects right there. And we're gonna click on the eyes group itself and we're gonna give that a layer mask. And as you can see, that gives it an, a thumbnail right there for masking. And we're gonna go to our brush tool and let's say we'll give it about a size of 20 pixels. And with black as your foreground color, because we want to hide this, go ahead and paint over where you don't want to see the eye, which is kind of in the lids. And we also want to get some of the brown from his eye back, so we're going to paint along the edge of this eye, and that will help it to blend with the eye instead of having that harsh edge right there. And that should make it look a little more natural. And then we'll scroll out and scroll in on this eye, and we'll do the same thing. Paint black in right here, and right there as well. And a little bit along the edge right here, and a little along the edge right there. And if we go to Control Zero again, that's looking a lot better. It doesn't overlap or anything like that. But if you think that the eye coloring is a little bit too powerful, you can always go to the opacity of the eyes group and just lower it down to about 70%-ish area. And let's just turn this group off and on and see the before and after. And that's looking pretty convincing as it is.